Hi, this is Bob Worley. I'm doing a banjo review for uh, just a really cool banjo here. It's a custom made banjo by Joe Mendel. Um, in my opinion, it's, it's part bluegrass banjo, part old time open back, and part modern. Uh, it's just got some really neat uh, things going on from top to bottom. So uh, we're going to talk about some different things throughout this banjo, and I'll play a couple of tunes on it. First, I'd like to talk about the neck. Um, this banjo is actually custom made for a, a left-handed guy and um, it's somewhat reversible in that um, instead of the uh, fifth string nut being on the neck, uh, all five strings go all the way down to a five string nut. Right now he's got a right-handed nut on it and to control the fifth string I'm using this little clamp thing which, which works pretty good. For the new owner who's getting ready to get this, uh, the railroad spikes are going to be used to control the fifth string. Um, it's obviously re reversible in that the bridge and the nut can be replaced and the dots along the neck are on both sides of the neck so it could eventually be reversed for a right-handed banjo player. Uh, and again, it's, it's set up for right-handed for me to play right now and uh, we'll put the railroad spikes in and switch the strings and put the left-handed bridge on. It's just an absolute beautiful neck. Uh, it's mahogany and maple. It's capped with a really beautiful black wood, front and back, kind of a modern look, wonderful neck. Next, I'd like to talk about the banjo body or the pot. This rim is a woody made by Randall Wyatt. Joe Mendel makes very beautiful instruments. It makes banjos, mandolins, guitars, but he knew he wasn't quite set up to build a rim bluegrass style, so that's why we went to Randall Wyatt, and this thing is just awesome. It sounds good, it looks good, it's just a beautiful piece of equipment. Um, the neck cut, again, not being quite tooled up for a bluegrass neck cut, uh, Robin Smith was contacted to cut this, and the neck was sent to Robin Smith, and he did a beautiful job cutting this, it's a perfect fit and um, it's a uh, tube style flange on this banjo and uh, it just that part of it came out great also I'd like to talk about the resonators it's a far stretch to say that I helped on this banjo I, I wouldn't say I, I helped I pestered poor Joe Mendel into some ideas I've always wanted to see what would happen with a block style resonator and uh, we came out with two block style resonators, one made of mahogany and one made of maple. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, here's a look at the mahogany one. It's block style. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Here's the, uh, the maple one. Obviously they have just slightly different sounds. They flavor the sound of it just a little bit different, each one. And I'll just, I'll plunk around on the banjo with with give you examples of both. The resonator idea was just so fun. So the whole package of the, this banjo is just really cool. It's got a great sound and it plays really well and uh, it's hit my jealous button. Alright, I'm just gonna plunk around a little bit on it here. Here's the, uh, the banjo with the uh, mahogany resonator. <laughs> If you wanted to use it as an open back banjo, here it would be as an open back. Um, you can take these little brackets off if you want to unscrew things and, and whatnot, uh, and it just turns into a great open back. I don't play claw hammer very well, so it's hard for me to really give you an example of claw hammer, but. I got it picks on. But I wanted you to see what it looks like as an open back, and it would work really well. All right. Here's the banjo with the uh, maple 
resonator on it. Of course, it matches the maple rim and the maple stripe in the neck really well. It's really pretty. It's got just a little bit different flavor in the tone. A little bit brighter, as you might imagine. tone all up and down the neck and it's powerful. matches the neck beautifully. Beautiful resonator. for checking out this great banjo. Uh, thanks for Joe Mendel. Uh, this is his beautiful work. And uh, definitely thanks to uh, Randall Wyatt for a fantastic rim and to Robin Smith for the great work of the neck connection. Uh, we just uh, had a great time with this. This is an incredible banjo.